Don't think about this TikTok the next time you look at our moon. Strange lights and moving shadows have been seen on the moon by astronomers so often that NASA published a catalog of them. The moon is exactly 400 times smaller than the sun and exactly 400 times closer to Earth than the sun is. This makes the moon and the sun appear the exact same size in our sky and is the reason we can have total eclipses. There's no scientific explanation for this except that it's a coincidence. Craters are usually proportionate with their depth and their width, meaning the larger a crater's diameter, the deeper it is. But if you compare the diameter of the moon's largest craters to their height, they're as shallow as dinner plates. No matter how wide the crater is, it never goes beyond a certain depth, meaning whatever's underneath these craters is extremely hard. In 1970, two Soviet astronomers theorized these craters were hitting an armored hull under the rocky surface. The hypothesis was put forth by these two astronomers of the Soviet Academy of Sciences. In an article entitled, Is the Moon a Creation of Alien Intelligence? They claim the moon is likely a hollow satellite put in place by a highly advanced extraterrestrial race, and that the moon is an artificial shell that had been inhabited internally for years. Russia's Luna 9 has photographed artificially made moon structures, and the Russians have discovered several other objects, among them huge obelisks. Russian scientist and engineer Alexander Abramov has calculated that these obelisks are arranged in the exact same formation as the tops of the Great Pyramids of Egypt. The moon acts as a stabilizer, holding Earth's tilt, giving Earth seasons, and creating tides. And it has a huge effect on humans, seeing as how we are 80% water. The Latin word for the moon is luna, and this is where we get the words for irrational behavior during certain phases of the moon called lunacy and lunatic. This belief was so widespread that in the 1800s, England made a law titled the Lunacy Act of 1842, which gave criminals lighter sentences during the full and new moon on the grounds that they were not in their right minds. Occultist George Gurdjieff theorized that the moon feeds on the negative energy of the inhabitants of Earth. Gurdjieff stated that it was only through self-remembering that an individual will escape being eaten by the moon. Life as we know it would never survive on Earth without the moon. Many occult teachings say that this is not a gift, but actually a curse, and that the moon keeps us trapped in the 3D. The moon is also said to be a reincarnation trap. Like and comment if you want part two.